COVID-19 pandemic, China, where cases of the deadly infection were first reported is now facing a new health threat. A disease called severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome, SFTS, caused by a tick-borne virus. Severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome, SFTS. Severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome, SFTS, is an emerging infectious disease caused by Dibi Bandivirus also known as the SFTS virus, first reported between late March and mid-July 2009 in rural areas of Hubei and Henan provinces in central China. SFTSV belongs to the Bunyavirus family and is transmitted to humans through tick bites. The first few cases were reported in rural areas of Hubei and Henan provinces in 2009 while the disease is transferred to humans through tick bites. Chinese virologists have warned that human-to-human -human transmission of the virus cannot be ruled out. Tick Life Cycle Sucking parasites that require a host animal to survive and reproduce. They tend to live in tall grass, dense brush and wooded areas. So dogs and cats are common hosts for ticks. So are people. Ticks can't fly or jump, so they use their two front legs to quest for a host. These legs have receptors that can detect carbon dioxide. When a host passes nearby, the tick senses it and reaches out its legs to attach to the host's fur or clothing. The tick then embeds its mouth into the host's skin and begins feeding. While feeding, ticks can transmit a variety of infectious organisms to their hosts, thereby transmitting diseases, including Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. After engorging on the host's blood, the tick drops off and advances to its next life stage. Ticks have a four-stage life cycle, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. The larva and nymph require a blood meal to molt to the next stage. An adult requires a blood meal to mate and reproduce. A female tick can lay several thousand eggs. Ticks are slow feeders and remain on a host for several days. If you find a tick on your pet, remove it immediately to reduce the chance of contracting disease. Use tweezers to grasp the tick as close to the skin as possible. Pull upward gently, slowly, and firmly. Do not twist, jerk, or pull hard, or you may break off the mouth part, leaving it in the skin where it can cause infection. Be careful not to squeeze or crush the tick's body, as it may contain infectious organisms. Wash the bite area and apply an antiseptic. Then wash your hands with a disinfectant soap. Save the tick for identification in case your pet becomes ill. Place it in a sealable plastic. What are the symptoms? And shrubbery. In addition to causing fevers, the symptoms of the virus include diarrhea, and in some cases, a lower white blood cell and platelet count, as well as organ failure and even death. The most recent outbreak of the virus has infected 50... How to prevention from tick? You should wear long sleeve tops. Tuck your trousers into your socks and check your skin for ticks regularly. Applying insect repellent on exposed skin will also help keep Toby at bay. If you do find a tick on you, remove it as quickly as possible. Wear gloves or cover your fingers with tissue to avoid touching the tick. Then use tweezers to grab the tick as close to your skin as possible. Gently pull straight up until all parts have been removed. Wash your hands with soap and water and clean the tick bite with soap and water or an antiseptic. To be continued. Do check out my video and subscribe to my channel, I would like to hear your feedback. Give support to me by subscribe my YouTube channel.